everyone. Uh, Dave Olender from Olender LLC. Um, doing this is a quick uh, video on. Oh, let me move my thing there. There we go. Uh, quick video on how to do a report based on sales rep. So, uh, so let me switch. I'm on a. Uh, tr I'm at the Epicor training database, and. I went into business activity query. So let's let's start there. And I want I did a I did one previously just to kind of run through this. And let me get my mouse back. There we go. All right. So here's the here's the problem that you probably know. Um, I I started a new BAQ and I just called it delete me Dave O2 right because I made another one and so to this if I add uh, order head right and we do a quick let's just do a quick company order num and sales rep list and if I analyze that we're gonna see that I have a I, I've set up a couple of these, two of them actually, with multiple uh, sales people, right? At the at the order head level, you've probably seen it. I'm assuming that's why you're watching this video, so I won't go there. I won't show you that part. Anyways, I set up a sales order, two of them that have multiple sales people. Got to be careful there, right? Um, and so this one has four, and this one has three. So the question is, how do we run a report based on that, right? This is a delimited list. It's like, you know, what we really need is four five thousands and three five thousand twos, right? The five thousand one it only has one person, so we don't, you know, we don't need to split that one up. But this one we do. So, so there's a there's a a, a trick, and uh, so I'm going to delete this. Let's delete that. Uh, yeah. Yep, good. And the trick is to start with the sales rep table. Okay. And then to that, we're going to bring in the order head. Okay. We're going to do a join. So now the only thing we can really join, at least on the surface, is company to company and here's where the trick comes in uh, so we still want the inner join right we want the we want the two records and this is going to be i apologize this is going to be a little hard to see but i'll blow it up for you after I, after i'm done so you want to do another um another table relation right it's going to be an and and what we're going to do here is we're going to manually type in a single quote, a, um, I call it a circumflex. I think other people have called it a tilde. So I'll call it a tilde. That's easier to say. So it's going to be single quote, tilde, another single quote, space, plus, uh, then we have to put in the uh, table name. So in this case, it's going to be order head uh, dot sales rep list that's the name of the field plus uh, let's see single quote tilde say uh, a single quote no single quotes are important then in the operation we're gonna type in the word like and then for the sales rep part of it we're going to go uh, let's see single quote it's going to be percent tilde and then single quote space plus sales rep and then it's sales rep code is the field name but I'm, I'm sorry I should have it's sales rep dot sales rep code same thing over here it's order head dot sales rep list and by dot I mean period right all right so sales rep code plus single quote we're going to go tilde and then percent and then single quote all right so if we save this 
and then analyze it. Uh, oops, what happened? Did I mess something up there? Let me check my spelling. Oh, I, 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 I forgot the, uh, I forgot to add fields. All right, so let's go company, sales rep, name. And then I'm going to go order num. And then we'll bring in the sales rep list just so we can see what, what fields we're supposed to be looking at. All right. Save it. Now she saves. Let's analyze it. Test it. Let's sort by order. Okay, so you can see now that my order 5000 has four records, right? For the four different sales reps. And so you can turn that into, and, and I, you know, you guys that are, are viewing this understand that this is kind of the, that's the holy grail, right? Um, we created four records out of one record. So, um, and then here's the three records for the for the other one. So let me let me uh, put up on the screen just for your and my edification. All right. So this this little trick this trick I call it because it's kind of a it's kind of, it's not really obvious. Uh, I got from uh, Carson Ripple. He's very sharp, very smart. He's a consultant like I am, uh, and I highly recommend him. And he knows SQL like like the back of his hand. So anyway, so I kind of blew up this whole formula so you guys could see it a little better, right? Sometimes the YouTube stuff is a little hard to, to read. So here's that syntax again, and of course you can adapt this to you know your own own situation. Um, but this is uh, when you should, when Carson showed me this, I'm like, oh my god, this is this is what I've been looking for. So, so yeah, I guess I kind of had seen, and Carson was keen to point out that in the BAQ, yeah, here, uh, if we go back to the phrase builder, pick on this join, you can see it says order head field or any expression, right? That's the kind of thing you just kind of, I know I would just kind of gloss over and go, okay, yeah, expression. But it actually is really, really important, right? Because here's a very cool trick that you can do that you would never guess, right? Because there's no drop down for it. If you're just a, a casual SQL person like myself, um, those, you know, it's not obvious. So, so the other thing that I did on this, uh, so if I go back to analyze this, test it, okay. So if we run and test this, it's like, okay, well, this is, this is cool. But what do I do about the the rep splits, right? How do I get those splits because they're in different fields? Well, what I did for that was um, I actually didn't take care of it at the BAQ level, and maybe maybe one of you can show us how to do that. But really, what I did was um, I went into the formula editor and I added separate fields for each sales rep. Now you can see I, I missed one here, so let's let's add that. Let's add sales rep five. And I'm gonna leave the character there. I'm going to use this guy, entry. And I want the fifth instance of uh, we want the sales rep list and then we have to change the delimiter to the um, again I call it circumflex all right say so, okay all right uh, and that's a rep so let's get that up let's scoops that up all right so if I save this and run the analyze you'll see that uh, let's sort by order. Yeah, I'm there. All right, so here's my four five thousands, and then here's the 
splits one two three four and five and um, so what I uh, what I ended up doing was over in uh, SSRS um, what I did was I joined these two I said okay if this rep ID which is coming from the sales rep table is equal to this guy right then use split one so now you can see in this very first record, Joseph is not. that, that That's going to fail, right? So, okay, well, it checks then. Let's look at, you know, yeah, I did a big switch statement that said, okay, if uh, if this rep ID equals sales rep 2, which it does, I'm going to use split number 2, right? And so over, I'm, I'm kind of doing that over on the SSRS side. I suppose, you know, now that I think about it, I could do that here also couldn't I right just do a big uh, yeah just do a big formula that says okay what's the uh, look up the splits anyways um, I'll let you guys figure that I just wanted to throw this out there and let you know there is a way to report by sales rep the real trick is gonna be that that join right this kind of awkward SQL type join so and um yeah that's it so i hope this is helpful hopefully uh i know it's I, a lot of people ask me about it and they kind of gro grumble and groan and say oh i don't know how to do a report based on sales rep list and i gotta be honest with you uh, i've never really done it either i've done reports where i've said okay i can give you the first element but i can't give you the other four or five people uh, because that requires duplicating records but doing it this way You've got a foundation for um, for reporting by sales rep. So thank you, Carson Ripple, again. And that's it. Again, if you guys uh, have any questions or uh, you want to add comments to this uh, video, please, please do that. Please correct me if I've done there's something wrong or said something wrong. And, uh, you know, we all want to get it right. I just I do these things to help myself as much as to help you. Um, I may come back to this in a, a year and say, hey, how did we do that report by sales rep? I'm not going to remember that SQL code, right? So uh, anyways, here's the video. Best of luck to you. See ya.